Today we're on a little bit of a mission uh, to pick up some parts for my next project. <laughs> uh, it's not the mechanical that needs repair. That, that's left out of the way for now, I hope. But, uh, yeah, I, I got something I've been wanting to take care of or, or work on or upgrade. And uh, I'm going to stop here in town and pick up, pick up, just get parts for now, but it should give you a, a bit of a clue on what we're, we, what we might be up to. <laughs> but we need to stop and get something to eat first. I know, I forgot with, my um, GoPro. I with, have to record on with this. this. With this crew. <laughs> Imagine you forgetting a camera or a battery or a... <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> we're going to one of these buffet things. A Japanese buffet. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Sushi? Hmm. This is gonna be a bit different. I think we're the one I'm used to. Let's see if we've got enough seats here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't see any plates down here. We're at the wrong end. There's no plates down here. Uh, and, and it's fruit. You don't like fruit. No, we're not going to start with fruit. We're not going to start with sushi. Uh, we need to start with a plate. I wonder what's way up at this end. <gasps> they have a bakery. Look at this. The bakery and dessert cafe. We got cookies and puddings and more cookies and more cookies and I'm gonna start with a couple of those. <laughs> uh, yeah. And over here we have a noodle station. What do you call over here? Oh, we got sweet and sour chicken and we got sweet and sour chicken and stuff. Oh my. I think it was. Some nice pork here, I think. Sour chicken, too. That's what these are. I don't know. I don't know what these are, but we have one of those. So, that's going to be sweet sour chicken. I think I'm interested in any salad today. Well, maybe a piece of garlic bread. safe here. Mushrooms, mushrooms, look at that. I had strange looks when I was filming. <laughs> I was like, what, y'all never seen anybody filming? Mmm, nice. jumpy That's called double delight. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know well, what seen, it is. I've seen shrimp. Part of it was shrimp. I think I need a little bit of rice with this. Get a little bit of rice in there. I don't have trouble with these buffets. That's like plate number one, which should be more than enough. But we tend to gorge. And you know, go back for plate two. I don't know. Okay, Perry, you can do it. How do you manage to get something that looks nice and healthy want? here? <laughs> I'm being filled and, twice. And, and my it's dish does, does not look so healthy? Well, well is somewhere in the middle. 
Mine is definitely healthy. This is my first plate. I've wait, got sushi, wait, sushi, chicken, white rice. Oh, that's it. I think this is the first time I've ever come to a buffet where I got one plate and I stopped there. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm full. Oops. I, uh, I'm going to take that back, what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, I don't get desserts too much. I'm gonna indulge here and get a couple of things, I think. I'm gonna blame it on somebody else. They came back and plopped down desserts right in front of me that looks like absolutely delicious, but I decided to splurge. Well, I overdid it. Maybe. <laughs> I know. I'll tell her. What do I need to tell her? Uh, we're, yummy, yummy. we're leaving in about 15 minutes. Yummy. So. I'm done. First one out. I had to get out of there before I did any more damage. I'm going to be good for quite a while. At least I didn't eat till I was in pain. I'm full, but uh, I don't want to do that again for a while. All right, so we're going to get on with some other things here. We're going to go over and pick up that part for my project and uh, carry on. Okay, uh, yeah, so we're in Lake Havasu City. And, uh, that's the name of the place, however you say it. Uh, Hokkaido, Asian cuisine. It, it was really, really good. It ranks up there, some of the better ones. Everybody's full, everybody's happy, no complaints. Except Colleen. No sashimi. No what? No sashimi. Colleen didn't get her sashimi, so. Uh, other than that, we're pretty good. <laughs> Well, we're back and we stopped at Harbor Freight is where I got this at. There are six foot cables. There are two gauge, six foot battery cables or inverter, an inverter cable set, they call them. Uh, same thing. Uh, that's my next project. I've really taken a liking to the lithium batteries. That one I have underneath the, uh, I put underneath the bench seat to run the refrigerator is working out so well. Uh, I decided to double up on that and, uh, and need a way to uh, connect those that'll reach over to the uh, over underneath the other bench seat. They both they won't both fit under the one bench, so I have to run six foot of cable over to the other. And according to the wattage, there's a chart on the back. According to the wattage and the length, I'm running them. Uh, uh, two two gauges is fine for this, or so they say. And I don't draw a whole lot of uh, I don't draw big power loads anyway. Uh, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on things. I'm starting to use uh, things like that toaster oven thing. Uh, I'll have to figure all that out. But uh, this is gonna be fine for like running the refrigerator and the usual smaller draws I put on things. I'll have to take that into consideration though if I run any bigger appliances on that inverter, if I'm pushing them limits or not. Well, it's a 2000 watt inverter and this is rated for 2000 watts. So that's only 1000 watts. It'd, it'd be fine. It, that's, that's fine. Just took me a minute to let that sink in. And I have this other thing. It's going to be a quick project. Now, this I bought way back when I had the Tioga. It's one of those extend to stay propane things for hooking up an, ext an external propane tank. Like Audrey has over there. So, uh, I knew it was only a matter of time. I figured sooner or later I'm going to be in a spot where... I don't want to move. I'm getting low on propane and I'm really not ready to move yet, but I, I could hook up an external tank and it just never happened in a Tioga because back then I moved around a lot more often. I uh, got itchy feet and just was just out bouncing around all over the place, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, same with the... Uh, and the Bounder had such a big propane tank that I could stay a long time in it and uh, it wasn't an issue. Uh, this is a little bit, this does have a pretty, the Coachman does have a pretty big uh, propane tank, but still we're getting the, there's places where I do want to stay and I just happen to be getting down there a little bit and I thought, where we might be going soon, we might be leaving tomorrow. And uh, I don't know what the rest of the year is going to run in store, but it is getting colder, you know, winter's getting closing in even down here and uh, the furnace will run more often, it uses more propane, so uh i'm probably gonna go ahead and hook this up pretty soon too were you napping again did i wake you up when i came in uh, you're probably about ready for some dinner aren't you i know i am you are a good girl <laughs>
All right, all of a sudden some plans are coming together. Uh, kind of threw some ideas around while I was out eating uh, earlier. And I don't know that Thanksgiving's going to... Uh, Thanksgiving might go a little bit differently this year. We usually go uh, all together and go to a, a buffet at like one of the ca casinos. And those have been fantastic in the past. Uh, earlier years, we'd get together and have a potluck. Uh, everybody make a little something. And uh, those turn out really good too, but... Um, there's might be some different things going on this year. Some people are going back to, uh, one direction to go visit family and somebody's going somewhere else to, some people flew back and somebody else drove back and, uh, uh, and there's other ideas about who wants to be where doing what. So it might be broken up a little bit this year. Uh, not, I mean, not that anybody's going to be doing, you know, left out and, uh, anything, just their choice. I think I want to go do this. And I think so, uh, and I'm sure we'll all reconvene, uh, at some point, but I'm going to head south in the morning. So, uh, I got other pieces to the puzzle of my projects that are being shipped to somewhere to the south. And, uh, our days, our time is almost up here. Uh, out of a 14 day stay, we've been here probably 11, tomorrow might be the 12th day. So uh, people are kind of breaking up and uh, getting ready to move on here. And uh, like I say, with Thanksgiving right around the corner here, uh, where it's uh, it's all kind of a work in progress. All Everybody's getting that figured out. But we might be off on, um, I was going to say, we might be off on our own, uh, but we won't. We uh, I got an invite uh, so, with some other friends. Uh, and... Um, Anyway, it's all coming together, and but I know I got packages showing up for, I, I need to get down and be uh, gathering things up. And I might have a deal working on something else that's like really going to be really special. So, uh, <laughs> that's going to be it. That'll be it for this video. Uh, we'll get back to it. Uh, one last, one final thought is, uh, somebody made a comment here not too long ago. Uh, you know, about me having the older rig and always seems like I'm working on it instead, instead of spending, you know, time with my friends. Believe me, I spend, when the camera's off, you know, I spend plenty of time uh, we're sitting around and yakking and goofing off and stuff. And I'm getting plenty of time in with my friends. And then uh, when I get involved in something here uh, involving the coachman or a destination or something, I, I turn the camera on and uh, share that. But I'm, you know, I'm... Off camera, don't worry, I'm getting my time in. But the uh, about getting these projects done, there might be a major one somewhat. Uh, I might be able to wait till I get back to the garage in the spring. If I can manage a way to get it done while I'm out on the road, uh, that would save me. Remember, I'm trying to avoid, I don't want to go back to the garage this year and have just a, a a long long list of all these projects to do i want to see and do and explore uh and uh, up in the northeast I, I i was tied up this uh taking care of this thing this summer i don't want that to be the case this coming summer so um if i can continue doing projects and keep this thing instead of just using it not doing anything and putting everything off uh except the emergency stuff <laughs> that comes up uh if i can keep this thing going while i'm out here on the road uh, that's just less more, it's more free time i will have when i get back in the spring does it make sense so uh some travel some seeing and doing uh, a mix of that and some projects and uh that's the strategy anyway is uh staying busy one way or the other i'll be staying busy i know that we'll be back really soon uh probably in the next video we're gonna be on our way out of here heading south that's gonna be it i'll see you next time what and all right. Let's see you next time. Are we gonna are we gonna leave tomorrow? Huh? We got things to do. We do.